Hello everybody, and welcome to my playthrough of SnowRunner. In this episode, we'll be continuing with part two of Out With The Old. So if you're looking for the trip from the Drummond Island port to here, go and see my previous video for part one. So where did we get up to? Currently, I have three trucks and trailers all lined up near the farm to take to the drilling site. As mentioned in the previous episode, Out With The Old requires us to deliver our cargo in a set order. The first being the construction rig semi-trailer. After the challenges of getting it here from the port in Drummond Island, I'm hoping this will be a little bit easier. And it seems like I've already got stuck. Hopefully some winch work will get me out of this. And there we go, we're on the move again. The trips down to the drilling site, while not taking too long individually, add up to quite a bit of time. I do want to show you the routes though, so I'm going to use overdrive to shorten this video down so you can see my entire route. As always though, I'll come back if anything interesting happens. If not, I'll see you at the drilling site.
Well, I made it to the drilling site. There was a lot of winch work to do there, even with the power of the mighty P-16. But honestly, it was nothing compared to the trip from the port, Drummond Island, to the farm. Let's get the trailer dropped off and complete stage one. Well, that was easy. You just need to drive into the box. The contract states they next need to deliver the metal beams to complete stage two. I'm going to deviate from this slightly and bring over the oil rig drill first. To do that, I'll need to jump into the GMC MH9500. Now you might be wondering why I've chosen this truck, as it doesn't have all-wheel drive. And you'd be right. It is a strange choice, but I quite like this vehicle. And I think it's more than up to the task of taking the oil rig drill to the dreading site. Especially when using the winch. Whether I'm right or not remains to be seen. But let's get into overdrive and see if I can get to the drilling site. I think this truck performed superbly, and I only used the winch once. I also think it's fitting that the GMC, being our first truck that helped us complete our first contract, helps us complete our last contract. I think it's easy to underestimate the vehicle because it doesn't have all-wheel drive. 
but it shows what the GMC is capable of. And I believe it would be unstoppable with all wheel drive. Okay, back to it. Now that this is parked up, let's go back to the White Western Star and bring the metal beams. The vehicle and cargo is all ready, so let's do this final pull to complete the contract. I'll hit overdrive again so you can see the route and I'll see you at the drilling site. White Western Star gave us no issues whatsoever with that pull. I could even consider it being called easy, which has been a nice change after dragging that construction rig semi-trailer everywhere. Let's get the cargo unloaded and get the second stage completed. With that done, we just need to jump in the GMC and deliver the drill. I'll just check and see if my rear wheels will get round the obstacle there. It looks like it will. And with a simple pull forward, we should be done. And with that, we've completed the region's objectives. The oil industry is back on its feet and should bring some relief 
to the local inhabitants. I could of course now move on to Alaska, but there are three more contracts that I'd like to complete in the region. They're not strictly necessary, but they will give me an enormous amount of XP and could see me jump up at least two ranks. This will come in handy in Alaska for upgrades. The first of these, cargo from the ship, I'll be covering in my next episode. But until then, thanks for watching and as always, take care and bye for now.